Hey, what's up? It's Ixtayo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Gevi card on iOS 5.1. Now, um, the Gevi card still hasn't come out for uh, iOS 5.0 or 5.0.1, whatever, for the 4.11 or 4.12 unlock. If you are on Baseband 4.12, you, you're you basically fucked, so um, I'm sorry to tell you that. But it's true. Anyway. If you're awesome and you have the uh, 41001 baseband or lower, then uh, this is for you. This is a uh, Rogers Canada iPhone. But don't ask me how I got it. Well, I'll tell you anyway. I just bought it off somebody. So, there you go. Anyway, it's on uh, 5.1. But I did preserve the baseband using a uh, custom IPSW you can make with Red Snow 0.9.10 beta 6. Focus. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now that we see it's on 5.1 with the uh, little cut down T Mobile card, I'm going to simply pop it in. Wait for it to say, well, it should say searching, then it should say accept, cancel, etc., blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube saying you do this, you do that, and blah, blah, blah. I did it for like five seconds or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure the seconds exactly matter, but I don't know, fuck it. Anyway, um, so to get, and then you press accept. Once you see no service, count to 16 or 17 and dial 112. We're at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Call, hang up on 112. That is. I guess if we go to settings, yeah, stupid thing. Yeah, actually, I don't even need to do that. You just do it from SB settings. Put your airplane mode on until you get no SIM card installed. Which um, I've already done 112 on this, so it, it should come up pretty quick. Do, 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 do. No SIM card installed. Yay. SIM failure? What the fuck? Ah, now we're good. If we want that, it searches, it does that, and then it does that. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to Cydia because you have T Mobile USA or Simple Mobile. But if you have another carrier that's not AT&T or H2O, well, I actually get yeah, H2O, you kind of want to do this too. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have one of those carriers, then you are fucked with uh, MMS and, uh, Yes, possibly. Anyway, go to City Air. Manage. Yeah. We don't want to go to packages. We're going to go to sources. Add this repo. It is beta.playmobile.com forward slash repo forward slash. That's a B E T A dot L E I M O B I L E dot com C O M uh, forward slash R E P O forward slash. So we edit, add, and do that. If you have Simple Mobile or T-Mobile, which this one's T-Mobile for a customer I'm selling this to. So, I already installed the T-Mobile MMS fix. On the 3G or 3GS, it will take two times, no, two times of installing this for it to actually install. On the 4 or 4S, which the 4S factor unlock does need this too, and this applies to all Gevi or 615 baseband users, this will fix your MMS sending and receiving and your GPS, which applies to 615 users, and maybe some Gibby card users. But especially factory unlocked users, which um, on my 4S, I had to find that out the hard way. Anyway, once installed, which on a tethered jailbreak you would need to uh, boot is tethered. I didn't want to do that. Go to general and settings network. Oh, and also make sure 3G is off. Uh, before I thought it was the Gevi that was, you know, fucked up in it, because one, this is Rogers iPhone, and two, well, it's a Gevi card. 
what do you expect? But um, it was losing signal after about a half hour, and I didn't know why. And then I saw 3G was on, so I turned it off, and it works perfect. So you should see these settings already in there. You can insert them manually. You can send MMS perfectly fine. I'll put them in the uh, description below for you if you want to see what they are. But um, use uh, epc.tmobile.com for all your APN settings because any other APN will not work. Voice stream or Internet 2 or whatever the old T-Mobile settings are will not work. And if you have Simple Mobile and you install the uh, first Simple Mobile thing, there's uh, two Simple Mobile things you can install from Betalay Mobile. Um, there's a one and there's the alternate, which is the two. Uh, for the APN for that, just put simple, just the word simple in lowercase letters. That's all you got to do. Now, um, if you have a 4S using a GPP SIM or something like that, you will need what's called a tether me. Because uh, normally what happens is uh, when you go to network, you will not get this cellular data network option. So you need to install tether me. Same if you have H2O, but there's a few glitches around that, which you don't have to jailbreak for that. But anyway, that's just how you do that. Anyway, that's how you use a Givi card on iOS 5.1 correctly, not like everybody else that puts a video on YouTube and you know, they're kind of retarded about it. But anyway, um, this is Six Talio. Uh, if you liked the video at all or had any have any um, questions at all, go ahead and feel free to PM me or uh, comment in the box below. Comment, read, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Six Talio. Okay, I am done with this video and it is. Four in the morning. You see that? Yeah. I don't know why I make all my videos like four in the morning, but yeah, that yeah. Okay, I'm just rambling on. Okay, see ya.